It's very early. I don't really know why you're awake. You could go back to bed. You know that? You're a dog. You can do whatever you want. Why don't you go back to sleep? <laughs> okay. Okay, good morning. Uh, I have not vlogged in quite a few days because I've mostly been riding my bike and recovering. We're not going out there. We're not going out there. I'm going out there. You're staying here. I can't breathe right now because I took a fucking enormous death. <coughs> <laughs> my GoPro, I have a debacle. I talked about it in the podcast. So the Go GoPro's not here. Some of you may be like, Teddy, don't you already have a GoPro? I did. I had like a five, but I sold it to my barber. I had to buy the eight. Long story short, it's not here, but it's on the way. We're going to meet up with Earn. We're going to hit off like a 20, 25 miler this morning, and then we got some work to do. I found a bunch of samples we got to go through. Let me get out of here so I'm not late. Beauty. You know? Even in quarantine, beauty surrounds it. From the dirt, the flower has grown. And from that flower, if it's a poppy, you can make heroin. <laughs> huh? You look like you're out here ready to snitch on anybody not wearing a face mask. That's what I've been doing for an hour. I'm on face mask patrol. Pull your mask up. Oh, I was like, what the fuck? How many miles in are we here? Well, I'm in 10, but from your house, I think you're in 13 or something. Yeah. For those yeah. wondering why I'm not shaving my beard, cutting my hair, it's a protest. It's a corona protest at this point. Or are well, you just afraid to go to your local barber? Afraid. <laughs> yeah, totally. Touch it. No, no, no. Come on. I'm not poking it. Come on, just poke it one time. No way. Come on, Ernie. One little poke. Just give it a little. Hey, you awake? Do it. It's gonna fucking attack you. Where's its head? Its head's right there. Uh, are you serious right now? Gonna... Almost 7 p.m. now for 25-ish miles. 24.7, I do believe. Ow, do believe. Barefoot in the yard. I did some paintings. I don't think we showed any of these. I did a little rainbow collection here. Dragon. Kind of meant to be a... Jesus. Kind of meant to be a... Uh... A triptych of sorts, but not really. Uh, they just go together. The rainbow collection. I did these shadow dragons. Kind of like gestural dragons. These are fun. I like these. Rorschach dragons. What I've done for paintings, I haven't done anything too crazy. I fucked up a big painting. It's rolled up somewhere. I don't know what the fuck to do with it. Yeah, and uh, just pretty tired, man. Like, getting into this biking this much is definitely creating a tired Ted. So, I did sleep for a little bit this afternoon, but it's my little station again. We're gonna sit here and start a painting. We finished The Last Dance, amazing, great. Great documentary, much recommended. I mean that, I think it was great. Biking, I got some padded bike shorts here. I got two different kinds from the same company. This brand, everyone talks real highly of, Pearl. Zoomy, so I got some padded bike shorts. These bitches were 175. They're supposed to be the best that you can get. I also got them on sale. There's like a Memorial Day sale. These are also Pearl Zoomy, but these are only like 50 bucks. That should make a huge difference riding the bike. Uh, it's gotten better over. Ooh, my hat. It's gotten better over the past few rides. Each ride gets a little bit easier, but these uh these like 24, 25 boys went on a 30 plus the other day. They just, I mean, they wrecked me. They straight up wrecked me, so I gotta recover, take tomorrow off, and uh, yeah, just get better, basically. Get my legs better so I can keep going. No overtraining, you know? We got some frozen grapes, and what else we got? Nothing. That's pretty much it for today. Huh? 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 <laughs> what are you doing? Abner? What are you doing? Good morning. It's another day. It's another day, buddy. What are we gonna do? Clean the garage, pack some stuff, heal our legs. Is that what we're doing? Yes. <laughs> Mars, John. You sunbathing, son? Huh? Look at them legs. You got it too easy, bro. We're going to the garage. We have found a few boxes of samples and misprints. This print, some of these are print. Smalls are always perfect. So yeah, I, so. I know how we're gonna do this. Okay, so we gotta go through all this shit. Let's see what GoPro said while I was gone. We also need nothing. Still dealing with it. 
pencil and paper, pen and paper. Dirty Earn's going to buy a bike today. I think. I, uh, you're you're definitely to going to buy a bike. Yeah. yeah. You're definitely going to do it. I'm going to bike over there, too. Maybe they'll trade my bike in. They're going to laugh at you when you show up on that fucking thing. They might take a, you know, maybe I'll get 50 bucks for it. You don't know. I don't think so. I mean, but those, for, I don't know what kind of bike shop, but like. Wait, you're going to bike there, so if you buy a bike, you can't bike home? What if they don't take your old bike? You're just going to leave it there? <laughs> you're taking it. <laughs> <laughs> you have no choice. Old AZ States, dog. Damn. Last night, get up randomly. <laughs> Give him a little cleaning. That's it. A little once through. Are you going straight to buy a bike? They open a little bit. I also have to look at this fucking crack screen. Crack screen is twenty nine dollars. So. Is that all it is with Apple Care? Oh, great. Twenty nine bones, brother. Off they go. Yeah. Shoe collection dwindles. The collection. Yeah. You know, dog. I like what Nike said on Twitter yesterday. Fuck you. Why? Because. <laughs> Tell me why. I just like that they talk shit. I've never First seen off, them talk Nike, shit. Why would Nike SB go out of their way to fucking comment on someone leaking a shoe just because they don't have details? As if any of the details matter whatsoever. Like, we buy the shoes. Yeah. So what do the details matter at all? That's a good point. Why is the moon barking back at the dog? Do you know? It's marketing. Yeah, well, obviously like it's you, marketing. I get like it. that it's Y'all like, ooh, oh, <laughs> edgy, look at that. Oh, edgy. Fuck out of here with the Parley SB. Get out of my face. <laughs> Go have a later. fucking fun time with your bike. And I'll see you in the morning. Yeah. All right. 7 a.m. 7.30. So we did a mystery bag drop last, like, two weeks ago, I think. Some Supima stuff, and we had some extras. So we're going to drop the rest here soon, the next few days, of the Supima stuff uh, and, and 400 GSM. This is all test prints, samples, fuck-ups. Uh, maybe just the front is pen printed on something, the back just got done. Some of the very first color sample that was ever, ever tried. Who knows? Some of them are just... I don't even, we, we don't know. We're going through all of it. We've pretty much gone through most of it. What could be saved? Some of it just can't be saved. It's just completely destroyed. I don't want to throw stuff away. So we're trying to figure out what to do. We're probably going to do like a super cheap sample sale, mystery bag style, like $5. You know, it's not what I would like normally put out because they're samples or they're, maybe they're, something's crooked or this, that, and the third. But I think we could find a way to do some hooked up, uh, five dollar bags maybe even like two shirts for five dollars you know I'm gonna figure that out in the next couple of days found the transparencies to all the drops that i've done since the beginning aside from the last year it's probably the, it's the first two years everything at the old shop we got the urn missing urn shirt that's a piece of history right there son i've been trying to like work on a book of all the designs so this will actually really help me uh, go back and keep track of what I've done because I've definitely forgotten about a lot of this stuff. Yeah, pretty crazy. Let me see it all. A lot of shit. Oh, oh, not a lot of clothes. Pretty crazy. Appreciate the support. It's been nuts. Hopefully we can continue to put out shirts, even though it has not been the easiest thing to do in the last few months. Speedometer for the bike. So I'm gonna put this on. And my time is backwards, but that's okay. It works now. That took a second. I feel stupid, but feeling nothing is better than feeling sad. Oh. You want to feed the dog? Yeah. You're gonna no, you! You're going to feed. I'm going to go play some Skater XL. And I got to eat some more food, heal up these legs a little more. Get ready for this bike ride, because Dirty Earn, Dirty Earn went shopping. Ah, you need these suckers. You need them. Not for the sun. Not for the wind. For the bugs. I, I ate like a hundred bugs the other day, and I had bugs in my eyes. <laughs> Let me tell you a few things. Nice bike. It's really One, you have padding in those? Yeah. Your dick must just be squished. Not really, no. The padding comes up the front? Yeah. Then maybe these are too small. Why did you get such a small pair of pants? I'm not sure. Hold on. We, we have a situation. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, they look small. I think they're because I didn't want you know me. I'm a little nervous in the start. I didn't want to try them on. They don't really let you in there. She's in a larger, they're large. They were 50 bucks. 
50 bucks. Yeah, I have a pair of those too. I haven't yeah. tried any of that. These are 175 But you could have got them cheaper online. This is a $100 shirt, but I got it for 50 This is terrible. Had a 50 percent of, shit, I, don't, I bet it was 50%. I just want the, Why did you get everything so small? I've got, I've got, because I'm going to fit in. Oh, uh, you're going to slim down. Yeah. I got you. No, okay. but I like pockets and I got this bag up here now. Uh, I saw that. And they make it so you could actually screws through so it doesn't fucking move. That's great. Yeah. I go, yeah, can I have some shorts? She goes, you mean like, you know, these are skin tight, right? Yeah. I go, yeah, it's okay. Like, I do, I know already. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's you can put shorts over them too, you know. Like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you don't have to like rock the look. That is a good idea. We've made it here to Empower Field at Mile High. Take a look. This is where the Denver Broncos would be playing if we weren't quarantined right now. Lift your arm up again. <laughs> the back has this plastic so it can like hold <laughs> on, but there's no plastic for the front. All right, we'll keep going here. See, see you later, bud. 24 miles. Your stop is here. I got another three miles ahead of me. Enjoy. You have fun. All right, son. Quick breather into the casa. Motherfucking out here, boy. 27 point out two miles. Whew. Padded shorts definitely make a difference. I don't know what the difference between the $50 and the $175 short is, I guess. We'll test that next. Omar, <laughs> you know your laptop's still out here? All right, so the bike ride for the day is finished. Lunch was finished. I had a turkey sandwich with cheese and ham. Ham and turkey sandwich. Post bike ride, Ern came over. We did the inventory. We have a restock of the $10 mystery bags because we held extras and just in case there were mistakes because there's a lot of mistakes sometimes with shipping, especially during coronavirus. All issues have been resolved. We're putting the extras up. They're going to friends and family first and then they'll release to the public. It'll be either like tonight or tomorrow. Yeah, tonight or tomorrow. As well as I'm going to start posting some smaller OG, well, all OG paintings. We're moving. Shit's going up for sale. So paintings I'm gonna get rid of. Uh, I'm gonna try and give good prices just so people can afford it. I don't want to be like crazy or nothing. Like some paintings are just more expensive because they take a long ass time. Uh, paintings will go up also friends and family first then to the public site. But I won't really, I'll probably just tweet out or Instagram like, hey, paintings are live. First come, first serve. You know, they're obviously limited to one of ones. I'm trying to find a place to live in Vegas, which I do not have a place to live yet. That's pretty much what has taken up most of our time. Uh, the biking is actually keeping me somewhat sane. Also, put on to a pair of shoes, and I got real hype when I saw them. I didn't know anything about them, and definitely uh, was super ignorant to this pair of shoes coming out, existing, yeah, all that. Yesterday, I bought a pair of shoes, and in fact, because old the habits die so hard, I bought two pairs, because I couldn't decide what color. And honestly, all the pairs, like all the colorways of this shoe, there's quite a few. There's only one that's really sold out. They're all pretty fire, you know what I mean? Like, there's some good colorways. It gives me a very, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. I've seen like nine. There's a couple of fire colorways, dog. But yeah, bought two pairs. They're on the way. I'm real excited about it. It reminds me of the beginning of Ultra Boost just with the small batch of colors. So I'm pretty psyched. I hope that they're comfortable and that I love them because that would be great because I do like the colorways. I'm not going to tell you what they are because they'll be here in a couple of days and everybody likes surprise. Which leads me to, you know, there's a lot of collection videos out there, you know, and we, I don't think we ever did an updated collection after I got rid of everything. You don't understand why I got rid of everything and you probably haven't seen the videos on it. If you have seen the videos on it and you still don't understand, seek professional help. But I wanted to give you guys the actual collection as it sits today, 2020 COVID-19 quarantine shoe collection. Former best boost collection in the world. What it sits like today. What, whoa, I didn't even, wasn't gonna include these. I guess this isn't my shoe collection. I have these skate shoes, a like, pair of Lakai's, Vulcanized, which is, these are fun to skate in, but they have no support. Also a pair of SBs here. I just showed the SBs not long ago. I haven't worn them because they have like a, they have a, um, it's like alligator skin or some shit, like snake skin. It's not the easiest shoe to actually skate in. And I haven't been skateboarding because I really, probability of me getting hurt is high and I don't want to go to the hospital during a pandemic. That, I just don't want to deal with the influx of people. The shoe that I've been wearing the most, the most is the Yeezy 500. This is the 500. I always get these fucked up now. Anyway, I call it the, the Satan shoe. This is when Kanye was putting out music that was not Christian gospel before he had announced that he'd moved onto the way of God. Dude, I like wearing this pair. It's like one of my favorite 
pairs of shoes to wear. I don't know, it's comfortable. It's not boost comfortable, I've said it a million times, but it is comfortable and I do like it. And they end up on my feet a lot. They've, they've been run through. Which leads me to this pair. Now this pair is not in my collection. This is a figment of your imagination. Not really. These are in boost purgatory here because I sold these in the collection sale because I don't want them. I don't have any 350s left. <laughs> I know that's silly, but I don't have any, this is, well I do, this is the 350 I have left, but I'm not gonna keep these. And this is a pair of reflective whites that I have to sell. Like I'm, or I'm gonna sell. I'm not wearing 350s anymore. I don't know, man. Like there's a lot of reasons, I guess, but yeah. For right now, no 350s. These are for sale unofficially. I may do like an auction for them on Twitter, but I may even just throw them up on the yard sale on my website eventually as I sell things out of the house. But this pair technically not in the collection because they're they're going, they're gonna go out. I know someone's gonna see this and want them. You want them, I know you do. They've been to Japan, you know what I'm saying? They went to Japan and back. The other pair that I've worn the most lately is these trail response. I wear these a lot as well. I just haven't been riding with my bike. I haven't been wearing them and these are also getting like pretty fucking beat up. These are also technically not in my collection anymore. I sold these to someone in Australia. They got lost in the mail for months. They came back like maybe a week or two ago. Finally made it back. They were lost for so long. I had refunded him his money already. They made it back here. They're essentially like almost dead stock. So I'll also probably sell these. I really like this model. So I may also keep them, but I also probably would sell them. I don't really know. I do like this model. It's a really comfortable Comfortable model. It's just as comfortable as a free hiker. We're next to not just as. Pretty close. But yeah, I probably still sell them anyway. And then the next most worn, the Kith Free Hiker. These are what's left. I only have this pair left. The black pair I sold. Yeah, I mean, they're getting a little beat, but they're not crazy or anything. So these are in the collection. One still favorite, favorite, favorite sneaker that's come out in a long time. It's not wearable all time, but the most comfortable shoe for walking around. The most. We have two pairs of John Geigers, the same model, the low 002. These are both gifts from my man Geiger. I wear these when I don't have a long distance to go. Uh, shout out to John Geiger for hooking me up with these motherfuckers. Love that little yellow. And the black pair is a lot more subtle. All right, so all that's left is three pairs of Deadstock Ultra Boost variations. These are the three I have left from like the collection, the big collection, this is what I kept. These have been here. I've had other pairs of them. All three of you. Yeah, I've had one pair of all three of them. So this is what's left, what I kept to undies, which will be happening soon, I guess. But uh, the Haven Uncaged Triple Black, one of my favorite pairs of all time. No branding, no nothing. You can't even tell what the fuck it is if you don't know. Uh, there's no shout out on the shoe, no nothing. I really like this pair a lot. The uh, Kith Non-Native Mid, one of my favorite, absolute favorite looking, beautiful shoe. They're super tough and mean looking. One of the best. Um, and again, like super subtle branding. They can't tell unless you know. They're super comfortable. The mids are a little harder to get on, which is the only reason that this has got any negatives to me, but I feel like I'll still wear them eventually. <laughs> I'll get around to it. Last. But not least, this pair has been with me for so long and I still have an undies them. I got them forever ago off Flight Club uh, when Ultra Boost was still cheap and well, it was cheaper again, but when no one really going crazy yet. I got these, the Woodwood, everybody knows. My favorite pair of Ultra Boost, so I have a dead stock pair of these that um, will definitely get undies now because the Arizonas are gone. It's my entire sneaker collection, that's it. It's everything, it's all of it. Looking forward to do to see what's coming in. We'll check it out and I'm excited to at least like review something new, you know, something at least new to me. I'm sure other people have reviewed these before. Yeah, it's, it's exciting to me to be excited. Will I be disappointed? I don't know, we'll see. Some people probably guess yes. You should maybe guess no. I'm guessing maybe. But right now, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna go cook a fucking steak and eat some potatoes, heal my legs, and go for a ride tomorrow morning. Maybe not 27 miles, but still a ride nonetheless. I'm out of here.